Hey everybody, we're out at the food plot, my brothers. Did a bunch of burning yesterday. We had two big piles out there. There's one in here, and there's one over there. We burned all day yesterday trying to clean up some of this brush around here. And now we're gonna try and move this ground blind from here back there somewhere. So we're trying to prepare that and uh, see how it goes. We'll show you what we're in the process of doing here. Forks on the tractor. I'm gonna try and use this 4x4 four four as a skid on the bottom. I'm not sure. I'm gonna move that from here all the way back there further away. I guess the deer figured out that this is a killing shack, so they've been walking around it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We want to put it just a little bit closer right there instead of instead of over here he wants to put it in here now and clear that brush out of the way i think move some of this stuff out of the way so we can try and drag it here all the way over to there Short workout of having to do it all by hand, that's for sure. We had the cable and that all the way to there. And that'll hold it together. It's just gonna try and lift that front end up a little bit. See if we can drag it with the tractor. those center beams are gonna go those are just screwed on from the floor so they'll fall we can just replace them but everything else yep see what she's doing you can watch those stumps when we get to them see what happens All right, we had to put that piece of plywood underneath there and hope it skirts that way around this. So far, it's looking all right. All right, we'll see how she goes. Let me know. Yep. Sliding so far. Yep, keep going, you're good. Nice.
You're doing good. Just gonna worry about that back leg hitting that law, the stump. You, yeah, yeah. you keep going, but you get this back leg on that side now might hit that stump. Just go slow. Yep, you're good. Keeper was all the way over here. And now they're right there. So hopefully. Yep, yep. One of those little rock ones there. Yep. Patio blocks. Hey folks, how you doing? As you can see, finally around the snow is finally gone <laughs> at least 99.9 percent a couple of little snow banks here and there but that's not too bad um my brother and i um he put up a tree stand up on the on the hill up this way on a trail that heads towards the food plot and it was on a big um ash tree it must have been almost two feet around or across i should say at the butt but uh that windstorms we had there and they had they had cut across behind his property so that opened up a bunch of wind bin all come through there and it tipped that uh big ash tree sideways which uh tree stand was attached to <laughs> so it bent the whole bottom rung of the ladder and stuff so i'm gonna go up there and try and fix that i'll show you some more of that when i get up there always something to do damage blowing trees down this past winter and fall then again like I said behind the food plot they cut somebody else zoned that property and had it all cut so it's pretty more desolate out here now elevated ground line is my brother's food plot stand right there go down you can see how the bottom rung got all mangled I have to take that rung off right there and move that center piece and put it to the next one over take that whole thing off it'll cut where it's bent and then try and re-bend it back and save that little short piece for uh if it happens again <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't but you never know that big stump right there there's a butt of the, the tree. You can see what happened. It hollowed out in the middle. That was a big tree that was on. Hauled right out in the middle of that 
tree when it all that opened up now no trees here because they cut it all the wind blew this way and it blew it right sideways and stove up the tree stands so i'll go get to work on that over there as you can see that's probably not much to save in that especially with that crease like that the rungs bust right off there it's bent so i'll probably cut it right here try and do it about the same and then i can bend that back and that's fairly straight to there anyway and again that'll give it enough depth to sink into the ground before it comes to this rung and save that and then we'll put it back on we we thought that stand was a little high anyway i think it's 22 feet or something like that so taking one rung off is going to be all right we'll take that and put that over to the next rung and i think we're going to put it inside the tree line a little bit more inside there and watch this trailway right here that heads towards the food plot Got my socket set and I get to work. There, remove the, the old ladder, the broken stove up one. Moved everything down, one rung here. So this is all back attached now. And uh, here's my pull string that's on here. All I use is some paracord and then I just have one of these little things here. I just wrap that around the, um, where the rat strap goes around the rifle couple of times and then clip that back onto the hole. You don't have to tie it or anything and pulls right up. No problem. It's probably a little long now seeing how we lost about four feet, <laughs> but that'll work. Hunter's job is never done getting ready for hunting. So nice to be back out in the woods. I tell you that. Oh man, no snow. I'm going to take a ride across the road. I think give you some more footage out there. Some of view of the food plot. See the uh, blind down there. I want to make a ground blind like that. Elevated ground blind at my camp. Watch my food plot too. Getting older and uh, climbing these ladder stands is not the safest thing for me. Uh, I just had my right elbow x-rayed and I have bone spur, bursitis, and arthritis in it. <laughs> so that's why it keeps giving out on me when I'm trying to lift in the gym and walk with crutches and stuff. So I got to be careful. That's why I may start giving in and getting a blunt ground blind like that going at camp but we'll see i still like getting a tree once in a while on a good day anyway uh i want to ask you guys a question here um i see a lot of these shows they show about having um food plot for the spring spring you know to help uh, build the soil and stuff but they also say that the ground has to be nine uh 60 degrees at 9 a.m in the morning and you look on the website, I can't remember what it's called, Green Cover, one of them sites has a soil temperatures and stuff for where you live. And it normally doesn't get to 60 degree soil temperature at 9 o'clock in the morning in Maine, at least where we live, till June. <laughs> so I don't know if it's worth planting something in June when you have to kill it and uh, plant again in, um, in August, end of August. Because that's normally when we put in our fall food plots is august end of august uh give it a couple of months for it to get high and stuff for for deer season in november so i don't know does anybody use a cover crop and if you do what do you use and if not uh do you just let this stuff seed out and grow and then try and kill it or just plant into it what do you guys do because i'm not sure because my brother's gonna do something oh, look at that some turkey feathers Something must have got a turkey in here. I know last year my brother watched a hawk kill a turkey out here. And it sat and ate the thing for like two days. But again, if anybody would let me know what they do, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I'm taking a ride across the road here. Um, this area that I just come through, I'd never see anything. Of course, I saw a partridge in there. So uh, I didn't get to film him, so I'm going to film some more down this way and maybe you'll see something usually when I go past this next bog and start going up the hill there's usually grouse in there so we'll see if we get anything but uh I'll give you some video anyway see what happens so nice to be outside finally in the woods
36 inches of snow after the last time I was out here. It's nice to finally get back out here. It's April 17th, I believe it is today. I'm not mistaken. Usually up around this hill in this corner, sometimes it's gross. You know, I already saw that one, it probably won't stay anymore. You never know. See a deer or something. So they'll keep continue doing it. TV boot and stuff in. I ordered it in the mail for my four wheeler, so I gotta replace that pretty soon. I take it up to my uh, sister's boyfriend's place with him. He's worked on all that stuff before, and I don't know if I have all the tools for it. I'd rather have somebody help. Oh, I'm gonna smack my face with that one. <laughs> I'd rather have somebody help me with that so I don't make a mistake and not have the tools and be stuck. about the one mile mark here, maybe a little bit past. I'm gonna stop here and take a break. Nice little serenity area here. Sit in the sun, take a break, listen to some animals. Hey folks, how are you sitting in the sun, enjoying the quiet in the woods? <laughs> it's where I belong in the woods. <laughs> Can't wait to get to camp. Uh, my trail camera is showing that all the snow has gone there too now, at least in the driveway and mostly in the uh, food plot. So we'll head out there soon. I just got a, um, I just sent out for a, a, another soil test kit. And um, I will uh, 
bring that up next time and dig in the food pot a little bit and get some soil and try and get that sample taken care of. Uh, I'm hoping eventually I keep doing this, rotating the soil, not rotating the soil, but putting in the blended food crop in there and uh, it's supposed to work, build up the soil. So hopefully eventually I won't have to put lime and fertilizers in as much as I do, or hopefully not at all, but we'll see. But um, I'll bring that up next time, probably next month. Uh, when I get more money, I'll be able to drive up there and take care of that. And I gotta drop a lot of trees on the left-hand side of the camp as you're facing it, because I wanna clear that area out. Then I wanna start working behind the camp and try and get that uh, shed elevate it up put a couple of logs under it for a drag and drag that out around to the spot i want try and get that done this year and then maybe push that soil out back because i like to build a fire pit out there so i can start burning brush and stuff just starting to get cluttered everywhere i never wanted it all around the whole camp the way it is but uh for now just had to do that to move it uh, once it's dry it'll be easier it gets brittle after about a year anyway so it's easy to break up and put in small fires so we'll do that. We've got a lot, lot going on. Um, also, again, like I said, i got this CV boot to take care of on this ATV before I go anywhere too far. Another process, another thing to do. Also, i got the AR I bought. i got my scope for it. Uh, Sightmark Race uh, 4K um, Max. So I want to take that to the range and sight it in. Uh, and I may do some uh, comparisons uh, with, uh, I may want to do a a video later on about shooting all the rifles that I have and maybe we'll all see which one we think is going to shoot the best. <laughs> That's all all up in the, in the line right now. Finally get this good weather. I gotta go to the gym later on. I've been working out. That's helping a little bit but still I can't lift as much as I used to. It's just my body's joints are just not there anymore. But we'll see. I'll just soak up the sun a little bit longer and head back out. So nice being in the woods. Listen to all the animals. I'll give you a little video of where I am. Just got back from across the road. Of course, it's gonna be one of them days. I didn't uh, video me coming back out, and right when I came to that bog, there's a big deer right in the middle of the the trail, and it just bounded off into the to the woods. So I didn't get that on film. <laughs> Couldn't get the partridge because I didn't think there was gonna be anything where it was. And then coming out, I figured I already went in there, so nothing was gonna come out, and something was there. That's my kind of luck. Oh well, it's been a beautiful little ride there, finally getting the foiler out and getting out in the woods. So, appreciate y'all watching. We'll hopefully get some more out for you soon.